fellow reading warriors and welcome to today's video where I will be showing you my bullet journal spread for the month of August. Uh, first I'm going to start off with a year spread kind of so at the very beginning of this brand new journal I have a place for me to write all of the books I read in 2021 starting in August. I'm not going to put all the books that I've read for the first half of the year because I did not start keeping a bullet journal until this month and so it's just going to be focused on the second half of the year but I put plenty of space for however many books I may or may not read. So for this spread, I decided I would just keep it nice and simple and not have it be a theme since it is supposed to uh, be there for the rest of the year, but I decided it's just going to be the name of the book, the author, and the rating out of five stars. This way I can just look over and see how many five stars I read versus how many one stars or DNFs I read, and this can make making the end of the year type videos a lot easier. So it's just a fun little banner. And I actually did this for four pages, really more like three and a half. Um, but I just thought, you know, plenty of space as I've been in such a good audiobook loop mood lately and I'm really hoping I can get back into physically reading a lot. I've got a couple chunky physical reads that I'm trying to work through right now, so I've slowed down quite a bit. But my audiobooks have been on top of the game and so I just wanted to make sure there's enough room for all types of books. Starting on my August spread now, I decided to do a lazy beach theme. And I say it's a lazy beach theme because as you can see, the only utensils I am using for the spread are these Papermate rainbow color pens. And that is because those are the only coloring materials that my parents have at their house. And I know I have other art materials like uh, color pencils at our apartment back home so I didn't want to go out and buy anything just for a while I was here this month but next month I will not be using these paper mate pens so what I did is I went on Pinterest and I searched for beach bullet journal ideas and I used lots of different elements uh, from what I saw there so these little tutorials on how to draw shells and uh, little scenic ideas that you're just gonna see throughout the entire spread I decided to ditch the sharpie from the first couple of pages because of how much it bled through so I am using a paper mate black pen most of these pens have not been used before so you may see me taking off the little tips of them but I decided I would outline everything in black and then go through and do a lazy coloring in of everything else to give it color but also make it not perfect, hence the lazy beach theme. I decided to go with a beach theme for this month's spread because while I am very much looking forward to fall, I have one final month of summer and so I thought I would give it one last hooray. August is the month where I am not working my regular job and actually spending the entire month at home and living in Michigan we are very close to Lake Michigan and so I have some beach day plans and some other like normal summer activity plans to do this month which is why I really wanted to go with a summery spread to kind of capture that last chance at summer that I have and so I'm hoping that this bullet journal will keep me going for summer even though I am looking forward to fall already.
I'm sorry you can't uh, see all the coloring I do for the entire page. Sometimes it was a very weird setup for me. But overall, I'm pretty proud with how this first page came out. It's a little blank, but just with how much I was doing these shells later on in the spread, I decided to keep it simple. But I am pretty proud of the bottom little picture since I am not an artist by any means. So my first spread is the Days Red spread, and I wasn't sure if I was going to do this just because I don't normally keep track of my reading, but I thought just with how low my reading count has been recently, I should keep track of it and hope that it encourages myself next month to read. I'm still debating if I want to have a difference between physical reading and audiobook listening, as audiobook listening, I believe, is still reading. I think it's so much easier for me to listen to an audiobook, but I really want to spend time focusing on physically reading this month because it is my summer month. I have more time to do so. Um, so I just decided to do a spread kind of of the month like a calendar, but not strictly like a calendar, so each week is a different um, small C element. So I had bubbles up top and I'll fill in the bubbles with the light blue on the days that I've read. And then I have purple shells and orange starfish and I'll have a few more different varieties of shells that I saw those cute little uh, how to draw easy shells on Pinterest. And so I just followed some of those to help me try and keep up and then obviously I realized that I did not have enough space for it to be seven for each week so it's it's more about the individual days than it is the actual month of August especially since in my next spread I will have an actual calendar that I will be going off of and then at the bottom I have growth goals. This is something I saw Shelby over at Grace with Books do and I thought it was a great idea just to track the growth of my YouTube and Instagram accounts as those are the accounts that I spend my most time looking after. Hey fellow reading warrior. So this is where my phone decided to have like four heart attacks in a row where it, I think it would be filming and then part way through while I was like done with maybe one or two spreads I would look at it and see that my phone had just turned off and the video did not save so I don't have any more footage of me making the bullet journal <laughs> sad to say but I do have a flip through of the end product and so I will just go ahead and end with that flip through and just kind of very briefly talk about um, each spread and why I like it, why I think I were or why I wanted to use it for myself. So I'm really sorry this video turned out to be like a weird mess. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless and I really hope that next month um, not only will the video go up earlier, but also it won't be like a terrible mess of no footage and weird sound. So yeah, that's what happened to this video. Maybe stick around for next month and hopefully it'll be better, but let's get to that flip through now. So again, here's the title page and the days read and the event calendar for any YouTube or Instagram readathons that may be happening that I want to partake in. And then I have my TBR with the five umbrellas. Those are meant for physical reads and a book spread for the surfboards for any book that I think I can read this month. And then I have a YouTube video dedicated page, brainstorming and plans, as well as an Instagram inspo. I wanted to leave it blank so I can do some sketches of posts. I have the same thing with a book talk inspiration page. And then I have a rankings page, my top four favorite books. This is my favorite spread is my writing tracker. Even though it's not the prettiest and it's not the most like even in terms of size, I wanted to keep track of my writing. And then I have all these review pages where it's just I gave myself 11 pages to write down my reviews to take notes 
as well as the little shells from before to decorate them. And then I end with a final notes page for anything else I may want to write or brainstorm for the next spread. And that is the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I wish you all a happy reading.